Okay, this video is going to be about inspiration and uh, how to incorporate that in your bootstrap studio projects or any web design projects. Anyway, got a can here which I really like. It's something called Fever Tree and it's just tonic water basically, okay? That's all it is. Um, what I like about it is the colour coordination, you know, this uh, like sort of mint green and silver. Um, and another thing is, is a watch I like, which is obviously mine, and I bought it because obviously I like it, but something like this, which is black and red. Okay. Now, if you like so having um, products that's about at the moment, it's not so bad because they're all online. Um, however, if if it's a few years when, when these things, products are always changing and that, um, and you see something that you really like, it's always good to carry a camera or something like that. I mean, smartphones are not great for cameras, but they're better than nothing. Um, and how you, when I was a million years ago, when I was doing art and design, it always says, always take a sketchbook with you. Well, I mean, them days have, have really gone because we can just take photographs, digital cameras are very, very easy um, to use now, and everybody's got one just about um, and the thing is is that you can you can see inspiration from unknown sources like when you when you go out somewhere you might think oh well, I'm not going to see anything but when I when I look at like the world I always see things that can go together like colors and this is not for um, you know people who with the art and design bit if you're not an artist or, or something like that, you can still be a fantastic web designer or graphic designer, even if you kind of draw a stick, stick man, you know. Um, anyway, so as I say, these days I've taken photographs of them, um, and the actual this can is, is better in real life than it is on on the hair, actually. But anyway, here's the, the favourite tray ton of water, okay? And all you would have to do with that is have a colour picker and just pick colours that you like, you know. And things can come from unknown sources, they can come from things like t-shirts, um, any clothing, uh, books, you can see like a book cover, an album cover is fantastic, especially like in the 70s rock albums and that, there's some fantastic stuff that, you know, that stand out and things, you know, so you can get, you can get inspiration for absolutely everything in life. Anyway, so... This how to get Bootstrap Studio and um, and like so one one thing uh, I will say on on the uh, art side of things is that I disagree with the color theory as you've probably heard about color theory. Um, I don't think color theory actually works in in web design for the most part. Say so blue and orange don't go together, but they go together in in real life if you like. But for digital stuff, I don't think they do. Certainly not for websites. If you put orange and blue together, it wouldn't work. But, I mean, that's why it's called theory, because it's not a fact. Um, so anyway, you've got, for example, you've got a, you know, your, your uh, new page open here in um, Bootstrap Studio. So I've already used the colours here um, from the, the photographs that I've just shown you on the um, there, from here. Okay, the one I use, the colour picker I use, is something called Colour Cache 5. Um, and it's it's basically for web and graphic designers. It's about 20 quid from Bits de Jure. Fantastic bit of kit. Um, and you can come up with some, some great arrangements of colour there. Anyway, so I'm going to just put in this here. Okay, so your body... All right, okay, so your body and say element style, uh, background color. And I'll take one of these. And for example, I'll take this one here, copy to clipboard. Where's this gone? Okay, just do that again. Background color. And uh, control V. Okay, right. So there's the the color, which is a sort of mint. Um, 
it's a cool it's a cool really i'm very fond of i've used it in a few uh, websites i've done not not that exact color but similar <coughs> now if we put a, a column in for example um at the top we just put one of those in <coughs> um like i've got a constant cold so element style uh, we just put that as height 300 pixels for example okay and we put in um a color that should go with it really um and this is like a silver color like you see on on here pretty much the same not exactly but it's very hard to get things exactly the same you know and we just put background color in there Control V, all right, and we just put this in, oh, there you go, see? So when you when you see these colors, it may look a little bit boring when there's no content there, but it, it's, um, they do go together. Also, everything about this uh, picture and that goes together. Same with the watch, I mean, if you put black and red together, uh, sometimes for accessibility, black, Total black is not really a good color to use, but it, it definitely looks cool. Um, other ones actually on on Fever View because uh, Fever View, Fever Tray stuff like toilet water. I mean, we uh, we have quite a lot of this stuff, and a, a lot of the, um, the actual texture of this is, is absolutely fantastic. I don't know where it is, but the texture is lovely, um, and all these have some really good. He's like a golden um one and that, that would work as well gold and silver together that was, uh that's really good so i just thought i'd uh go into a bit of like you know how to team up colors and, and how to use them in your your uh, personal projects if you're looking it's a bit like writer's block sometimes um in web design and graphic design you can you kind of sometimes think about um you know what you know, inspiration is, can uh, can take a while, but if you look for it, it's there. Things still go together. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope uh, somebody's found this interesting. So again, thanks for watching.